Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little Christmas haul for you guys. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't wanna miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the haul. So everything I'm going to be showing you guys today is 50% um, off currently. So um, like I always say, I never pay anything full price at Hobby Lobby because it is always on sale. So today just happened to be 50% off. Let's just start with these presents. I got not one, not two, but three of these guys. So the first item is this guy. He is the smallest present and he was originally $17.99. Then the medium size was $21.99 and the largest was $27.99 originally. Um, these looked so gorgeous on display. They had them um, on their big display right in the middle and I just thought they looked so pretty. The only problem is they shed like no other. Like like crazy. I mean, you can't even touch this without it shedding. And I just noticed this, but it's like missing all of the tinsel here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I haven't decided yet, but I mainly got them because every year, typically for Christmas, I wrap some empty boxes as well as the real gifts in like really pretty gift wrapping so that it looks, you know, pretty under the tree. Each year I have to do it over and over again because it does not last <laughs> for a whole year. It just gets crushed when I like package all the Christmas stuff and put it in storage. So I thought these would last me a little bit longer, but seeing how much they shed, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Anyways, moving on to the next couple of items. If you saw any of my previous Christmas hauls, especially the, the most recent one, which is from last year, I believe. I have a new obsession with Christmas picks. I love them. They're so much easier to use when decorating a Christmas tree versus using ornaments. And so I saw these and these are my favorite shade of green, especially for um, Christmas and even Halloween. And these were originally $3.99 each. And of course I got six of them. So these will look really pretty in the tree. And then I saw these guys and I love anything peppermint. Um, for Christmas decor. I just think it's so pretty and these are pretty huge uh, So these were originally $12.99 And look how festive that looks so gorgeous. Okay, the last couple of things from Hobby Lobby I wanted to add to this haul the first thing is this milking cookies board um, This is a lot bigger than I thought <laughs> I actually saw this online and I sent my husband to go get it and he went to like three different Hobby Lobbies just to find it for me. I didn't think it was gonna be this big, um, but I'll make it work. So it has a little thing so you can hang it. I don't know. I wanted to put it by the Keurig, but we'll see. And then I needed a Merry Christmas sign. And I saw this online. And again, uh, I sent my husband to go get it for me because if I go to Hobby Lobby, I will buy the whole store because I can't control myself. So yeah. Anyways, um, I didn't realize these were actually like little blocks that you stack, <laughs> but uh, I think it's kind of cute. I do. And I'm glad that the letters are glittery um, because I couldn't tell online and I was actually planning on applying glitter myself, but we'll see how this looks during the Christmas house tour. So stay tuned for that. Both of these items were on sale at believe they were both 60% off. This one was originally $26.99 and this one was originally, I couldn't find the price on the back of the board, but I ended up getting it for $6.93 after the 60% off. And then this one after 60% um, off, I got it for $11.69. Moving on to the last two items, which were actually from Home Goods. I found these beautiful little treats right as I was about to leave. So this gorgeous little, I don't even know what you would call it. I don't know if it's ice cream. I don't know if it's whipped cream. I just think it looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It just looks so whimsical. Like some kind of treat that you would find in the North Pole made by Santa's elves. Does it not? So cute. Um, these were $12.99. And of course, I had to get two of them. 
And even the cashier lady, she was just like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And she had to stop and go show her um, other cashier friend because she was like, oh my gosh, did you, did you see these? These are so cute. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, so cute. I love it. And I love that little shimmer. It just adds a little bit of extra magic. I also wanted to add some extra things to the haul. So uh, these lights I got from Home Depot and they are Mickey Mouse lights and they actually sing We Wish You Merry Christmas by like projection. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish How cool is that? And it even says Noel on the top. These are 8.2 feet long. It says it has a set of eight, so I'm interested to see like how spread apart they are. It's like one per foot. So I don't know. Either way, I got two of them. And then also at Home Depot, I was putting away my Halloween decor and um, none of it fits. <laughs> I, I have too much Halloween and uh, fall decor. So I asked my husband to get me more of these containers and all of these, um, he said there was like two left and they were broken. And he was like, the only other option is this big boy. And so uh, I was like, all right, um, I guess I'll transfer my Christmas decor into this because these are pretty big. And um, we'll see how that works out. You can see like, oh my gosh. So this is how big these old ones were. Um, 106 quarts see how big this is this is 200 quarts oh my goodness wow so uh, he got three of those for me so um that should help with the storage situation that i'm facing right now and i was taking out all of my christmas mugs and i thought i would mention these christmas mugs which i got this year from amazon um i did haul them in another video i'll be sure to link that video down below i have more details in that video i believe but these are so cute it says Merry Christmas and it has Santa Claus on the top and the Santa Claus is actually a little stir. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And then this one is a beautiful dark forest green and it has Rudolph in the corner, that little star detail right there. Um, so if you guys are interested in some really cute mugs for Christmas, then I would definitely check these out. And right next to these beauties, I have these beautiful new Starbucks cups. I guess these are the new Starbucks holiday releases. And I originally saw the post saying that it's only available at the Target Starbucks, but my Target Starbucks did not have these. It was actually Kroger, I believe. And my husband actually found these for me. Um, the first one is this beautiful magenta color. Very, very bright and metallic. And then right next to it is this beautiful gold color, which I'm definitely going to be using for Christmas time. Um, I actually have a little collection going on now and I switch them out um, every season. So this is what I was currently using for October, November, fall time. And then these are for summer, spring, this was originally for Christmas, but I guess I'll alternate between these two. Um, yeah, that one's very Christmassy. I really want a red one. That would just, wow, that would be amazing. But um, yeah, these would look so cute on my nightstand for my water cups. Um, and then this one, I don't know when I would use this. Probably for my birthday month. <laughs> that looks very birthday-ish. I absolutely love these. I use these all the time. These, as I stated before, are like my water cups. I just leave them everywhere so that I'm always hydrated. Oh, but before I forget, these were $30 each. All of the other ones that I've ever bought were like right under $20. But these, these, both of these were $30 each. So I don't know if it's just because it's like a Christmas release or what, but hopefully they're just not being greedy and jacking up all the prices for everything just, just because, you know, I mean, I know inflation and all that, but like, oh my gosh, $30 for a cup. Ugh. My husband surprised me yet again with another Starbucks cup. This is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's like this beautiful light lavender color, but as you can see, it reflects beautifully so there's blue and green also in it and it looks very mermaidy and oh my gosh 
How gorgeous is this? And let's see, this was $22.95. So not as expensive as the Holiday Metallic Collection, but still pretty pricey for a cup, obviously. <laughs> but uh, oh my gosh, how beautiful. I wanted to add some things that I got from Disney World and Universal for my Christmas haul. I am going to do a separate haul for all of these goodies, but I'm not sure when I will have time to actually film all those and um, edit those and get those out. So. In the meantime, I just pulled out um, the Christmas things. So the first item is this Harry Potter stocking, which is the most gorgeous stocking I've ever seen in my life. Look at the pattern and on the back, it's this beautiful velvet. And it even has this like metal H tag. And let's see, how much was this? Oh, this was $19.99. I didn't even know that. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Um, I guess the one that I had originally looked at only had this. It didn't have, like, the red sticker on it, so that's cool. $19.99 for that. And then we have two ears. I might as well show you these. Um, this one, of course. I didn't have any Christmas Mickey Mouse ears, and so I decided to go with these. It was between this one and this one because these were so expensive. These are the bobble bar ears, and they were, like, I think $60, which is ridiculous. Like, yes, I know, it's absolutely ridiculous. These were 30 bucks, which is more expensive than I remember ears being at the parks. So, I don't know, I was kind of discouraged. Um, usually I get a lot of ears when I go. I did get a couple more ears, but again, um, I'll show you those in the Disney haul that will be coming up. I will say that, I don't know about the placement of the ears. They're like literally on either side, whereas like the Mickey ears are typically a little bit tilted like a little bit upwards so it kind of looks weird it kind of looks like princess leia buns <laughs> if you know then you know but um i don't know i still think it's really pretty it's just not 60 dollars worth pretty you know what i mean i did get a gaston ornament every year my husband and i have made it a tradition to get a new ornament and write the year on the bottom of the ornament so eventually as years go by we'll have a full christmas tree full of ornaments from all the years of christmases that we got to celebrate together so that is why we got the gaston ornament but while i was in the section for harry potter this was like a couple of days later, um, I saw this and I just thought it was so beautiful. It is Hogwarts and it's pretty like heavy duty. So gorgeous. It is a Christmas ornament. Let's see what, yeah, this was $30 and I love it. I feel like I wouldn't hang it up on the tree. It's just so heavy. I feel like I'd maybe put it on display or on my desk or something. I don't know yet. Definitely these two items are gonna go in my Harry Potter office. If you've seen that video, then you know I'll link that video so that you guys can go check it out But these will make a great addition to my office. This is the new Gaston ornament And on the bottom, he's very heavy so I have to be careful. On the bottom There is a button that you can press on the... <laughs> So uh, he sings and oh gosh and I just, I love how he's just reclining in the big chair. Look how cute! And I, look at all the details, too. Like, wow. And then, I forgot to show you guys this little cuppy cup mug thing. It's not a mug, but it's supposed to be like a snow globe sipper or something. This was from one of the restaurants. I can't remember for the life of me what that restaurant was called in, um, I think it was a Disney Epcot or Disney Hollywood. One of those. Um or Hollywood Studios. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. It's really early. Anyways, I got it from one of the parks and this thing was expensive, okay? Because on their board it said it was $13, but then when she like like on the cash register and she rung it up, it was 20 bucks almost. And I told them that and then she was new in training and she saw it on the board too and they were like, "Oh yeah. Um that was that was a mistake. That's an error." And I was like, "No." But I wanted it so bad, um, and it did come with a drink. They didn't fill it up, they just gave me the drink in a separate cup because they know that people want to take this as a souvenir. So that's why it's spotless right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was expensive, but I thought it was so cute. And at that point, I hadn't gotten anything from any of the parks, and I was desperate for a souvenir. So I got him. Is he worth 20 bucks? No. But 
He's still cute. And then right next to him, I have kept my first ever popcorn bucket, which is so crazy. Never even noticed popcorn buckets. I didn't know it was like a big thing. And I saw this and I thought it was so pretty. It's so Christmassy and it's actually a little music box that rotates as well. And it has all of these different scenes with Mickey and friends. So cute. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. Best popcorn bucket ever. And first popcorn bucket. So glad I got this. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for my little Christmas decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.